Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Leon Scenario B. Resident Evil. Now, hopefully... Will it? Yay! This is about the fifth time I've tried loading this shit. In the midst of the T-Virus outbreak in Re It gives there's some issues. And the cutscenes don't work, so don't worry. Same thing as Claire Scenario A, cutscenes don't work. Oh, forgot about that. Almost ran into your way. Ah, damn analog stick. We have the same goddamn issues as when we played Claire Scenario A, and it ain't gonna get no better. <laughs> Trust me. Yes, I know that's bad, bad grammar, but I don't care. I should say it isn't going to get any better, but eh, what the fuck. I don't feel like speaking proper grammar right now. Oh no! Zombies! You might be wondering where the fuck we're at. Well, we're on the other side of the wreckage that Claire was on. And guess what? Well, she's probably in the gun shop right now getting hit on by an old guy with a bow gun. We're already at the police station. In under a minute! <laughs> wow. Now, a lot of people say, oh, Scenario B is harder than Scenario A. Well, it depends on who you play as. <laughs> if you're Leon, Leon is easy mode. By the way, an ominous wind can be heard. Also, there's no valve handle or... Why is the screen flashing? Blinking black on me. Oh, what was that sound? Zombies are inside. If we open that door, zombies come in. Woo! Anyway. Yes, we are Leon. Of the two characters, Leon is easy button. Anyway, we're in the back backyard now. Well, didn't you set off quick? Anyway, at least the dirty whore zombie isn't in the way. I really wish I knew why the screen was flashing on me this time. Also, cutscene as to why the helicopter crashed. Of course, we don't get to see it, and the screen is blinking very, very badly. Stop that. I know you're a Terra bad port, but that doesn't mean you have to flaunt it so. So the burning helicopters crashed. We're already in the police station. Now, remember how scenario A went down? Alright. I s look! The windows are broken! We got here in under in like 30 seconds. Crows are already here. Those windows didn't break until Claire came through this area. Also, we need to run through here real quick. Why? Well, because we need to get through here real quick. That's why. Don't question me. Besides, I don't want to get pecked to death by crows. Also, well, let's see here. We have herb. Also, it's been a few days since I actually played this. I'm going to have to get used to the damn analog stick again. Which means I'll probably be running into zombies left and right. Hey, you. Thanks for the bullets. First order of business is we got to put out that fire. How do we put out that fire? We need the valve handle, which conveniently teleported over here. Why is it in here? I don't know. Why, you know, it's, it's one of those mysteries of, I don't know. Why do you need gems to unlock certain things in this damn game? Anyway, let's take... We should really stock up on green herbs. Now, if you'll notice, Leon's handgun has 18 bullets, compared to Claire's 13. His handgun is slightly more powerful than hers. Hmm. 
now. We have four herbs. Let's get that straight. Four herbs. We have a full inventory, actually. Oh no, birdies! Now, I would go back and use this valve handle immediately, but I don't feel like mixing herbs at the moment. Okay. So. Oh no, liquors! Yeah, there's liquors in the burning helicopter hall. Yeah. Things are all, you know, fucked up. Anyway, let's grab these bullets here. Let's try to avoid grabbing the game crash file. There's a small key, which is right there. Yes, yes, I know. I, well, we unlocked the rocket launcher last time anyway. Oh, yeah, I need... If the screen would stop flashing at me, I could move the rocket launcher. We're not going to use it. I'm going to keep one green herb on hand. And... I'm going to take the small key. And I'm going to stash it. Stash the small key. And I can tell that that screen flicker is really going to start getting on my nerves. I really hope... Uh, it's probably recording the screen flicker. Testament to a terrible note. Oh no! Move slowly! It can't detect you very well if you move slowly. Anyway, I'm going to... There's one thing I'm probably going to end up doing with Leon that a lot of people... Ah, birdies! Get off me, you fuckers! There's probably one thing I'm going to... Uh, that, I, that I'm going to end up doing with when I play as Leon that... Quite a few people... I can imagine... Probably... Well, I don't know. Nowadays, there will probably be more people to understand my point. But there's still probably going to be other people who are like, Oh my god, I can't believe you do that. Anyway, let's burst open the water tank. And put out the helicopter. Okay, you really need to stop flickering on me, otherwise I'm going to pimp slap you into Oblivion game. Now we have 18 round, 18 rounds in our gun. Ooh, shotgun shells. Nom nom nom. Helicopter's complete wreck. Oh, Claire got out of that with some crappy ass handgun bullets. Hey, guess what? There's a cutscene, but we can't really see it because it'll all be black and white anyway. Basically, something dropped into the police station. If you don't know what that cutscene is actually about. Something big and ugly fell off, got dropped off the of bottom of a helicopter. Tank. It fell through the roof here. Hmm. What's that thumping sound? Oh, what is that thing? You just try to run past him. He'll turn. He'll hit you once and try to do a double axe hit. Now. That is Tyrant. I know, some people call him the T-Zombie, or Mr. X, or the big guy. That's a fucking Tyrant, okay? It is a Tyrant. Not like the one... It's not a half-developed prototype like in Resident Evil. That, that is an actual complete Tyrant. Anyway, if you actually take him down, he, can, he can't be killed. He, he cannot be killed. If you, you can knock him down, knock him unconscious. Now, if you do that, should you knock this fucktard out, knock him unconscious, stop flickering or I will murder your face off. Oh, fat. Damn it. Going the wrong way. 
I'm going the wrong way. But anyway, should you decide to, you know, face this asshole in combat, which I will later, just not now. Every time, every encounter, he has an item that he will drop when you take him out. The first encounter in that hallway, he drops a box of 30 handgun bullets. With Leon's handgun, it takes a roughly 21 handgun bullets to take him down. So... Yeah, I just meander past these assholes. It takes... Approximately, I'm not exactly sure, but it takes about 21 handgun bolts to bring him down with Leon's handgun. So, you, yeah, if you take him out, you score a hit every time, you make a 9 bullet profit. Eh. 9 bullets in that hallway compared to how much damage he can potentially cause to you, compared to just one little slot, that's... To me, that's not exactly what I would call a... Not exactly a... I would say it's a Alright, you fucker. So we took a quick swipe from a liquor. Oh well. We also got as a handgun, but we have four green herbs. One of which is in my pocket, rolled up and ready to smoke. Careful, careful, lucky, lucky twats. <laughs> you know, I really hope this is recording, because I can't check to see if it is. <laughs> and if it isn't recording, well, I guess I'll find out after the game's over. I can be pissed off then.